you will uh, need to make your own uh, gasket from uh, just some gasket paper. Uh, don't use the cereal box trick. That's uh, that's a horrible trick. Um, cut yourself uh, a piece of gasket paper. Like so uh, I've already thrown some holes in it. Um, to make the holes, you put the paper on to your intake and uh, punch the holes. I do with uh, I do with a pencil, poke them, or uh, a sharp screwdriver or something. When you poke the holes like that. The thing that's nice is it uh, it pokes the paper through, and uh, it's very easy to uh, to locate the gasket onto the intake, um, so you can keep your alignment. Because alignment is crucial. Uh, that's what we're working for here. Is uh, is good alignment. Um, and what you do is um, holding your 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 paper, the gasket paper onto the intake. Um, run your hands over it. With a bit of pressure. Um, you know approximately where the rectangle should be. So uh, give it a good squish around that. And what you'll find when you uh, when you look at the other side is, um, hopefully this will come out in the, in the video, but uh, you can see uh, the outline of uh, the outside and also the outline of the rectangle you want to cut out. Uh, work on the rectangle first. And, uh, it's just a hobby knife. And uh, carefully cut out the rectangle. And then after uh, Use hobby knives, scissors, whatever the heck, and uh, and to trim it around. Uh, always uh, double check. Put it back on from time to time. Make sure that that opening exactly or as exact as possible uh, is the same size as the rectangle, because uh, that is that that's crucial for the for the next step. On your new paper gasket. What you want to write on the side that was facing the intake is intake, so that when you put it on the cylinder, you know which way is facing out. That's very important because what you do is once you've got it here, you're going to take your sharpie and you're going to draw where the opening is onto. The face of the intake, and yes, you want to do this with the uh, the cylinder off the engine. That way, you don't get stuff inside the engine. Then you want to just take a, your Dremel or your uh, your set of files, and uh, everywhere where your sharpie is, you just want to just carefully mill it away so that you've got a very slow um, conversion from this shape into the rest of the port. Moby ports are cut in at an angle like this. So what you'd want to do is, is you want to start uh, at an angle going this direction so that you don't widen the intake too much on the uh, the roof and the floor, uh, you'll have to take off a very little bit. You want to make sure that your tool doesn't go in and modify the roof or the floor of the intake port where it goes into the cylinder because that will change your timing and that will affect your uh, performance. As you can see on, on, on this cylinder that I've already reworked, it's uh, just a slow curve going on this side here and uh, the rest of it is just opened up square. That way when you uh, put your gasket on, double check, everything has been milled out where you had marked with your Sharpie. So now when you put your intake on, you can just take a look down it, and you can see that there's no uh, 
there's no bumps, there's no ridge for the airflow to get over. Uh, it's just a nice, uh, nice smooth entry. When you buy, uh, when you buy the Melosi uh, intake with the uh, with the carb, is a party kit. Uh, comes with fantastic uh, bolts. I prefer not to use the bolts. Uh, problem with the bolts is when you put steel in and out of aluminum a number of times, uh, you start wearing the aluminum, and the aluminum will suffer, and you'll have the bolts fall out. So I like to stick to the studs. Uh, some people prefer to convert it over. Uh, the debate's open on that one. But that's all the machining you have to do. You get it all nicely buttoned up. Throw your 15 millimeter uh, on there, and uh, and uh, you'll be ready to uh, to perform a little bit better. Uh, the other mod you want to do uh, once you've started using your 15 millimeter is. Uh, you want to open up the exhaust a little bit, get everything flowing through that engine uh, a little bit more efficiently, and uh, pick up a little bit more speed. Uh, you do that by de-restricting the exhaust, which will be another video.